What's up Disney Infiniteers? Welcome to today's video where we check out rare and never before seen concept art images for Disney Infinity. We are back today with more rare and never before seen concept art from Disney Infinity's early development days thanks to Thomas Estrada who shared more over Reddit saying quote, I realize many of these have already been released but they are fun to revisit. Watching our character concept team define the look of Infinity was such an incredible experience. First up, I wanted to focus on some of the art and characters we never received before, and that includes this artwork of Pocahontas. It's interesting to see the original artwork on the left and the adjustments the team was making on the right during early development. I really wish she would have come to Infinity. Next, we see some artwork I remember seeing in a behind the scenes video back in the day, which includes a look at Cap, Aurora, Simba, and more. As you know, these are all work in progress concept art pieces, but it's always cool to see the early days of Infinity's art style. Following up is more early concept art featuring Bolt, Aurora, and Flynn Rider, among others. I loved how stylistic the top row was here from when they were still figuring out the designs in the early days. And more interestingly, it looks like this art style was almost Infinity's design, as you can see different iterations of it here, with the top being Jason Kim's version, the middle row showing off the 3.5 head talls version, and the loose 3D form modeling on the bottom. Additionally, a fan commented on how interesting it was to see Princess Aurora featured so much in early concept art. And I tend to agree. One thing I wish we had was more classic Disney characters in Infinity. I found the next image very interesting. To me, it looks like a very early adaptation of what would become Townspeople, but it also features some new characters like this image of Bolt, Totoro, and remember, Disney owns Studio Ghibli, so this is really cool to see him. Quasimodo from the Hunchback of Notre Dame, Ursula, and an early Simba character. This one is so exciting to see. I found this next concept art piece interesting because it showcases two early versions of Mike and Sully. But if you look carefully, one shows no joints while the other showcases joints. I wonder if they were considering joints in figure statues early on, or maybe they were just still working on the in-game toy aesthetic. What do you think? The next shows off the Monster Rig 3D template in which details were to be painted on, unique geometry to each character, and features like removing the tail and spikes that were once considered in early development. Next up, we see an early yet polished concept art piece for Captain America, Jack, Princess Aurora, and Sully. Now I really love the designs of the characters here. Avalanche was really able to capture the magic in these characters in various styles. It's actually insane to think about. Lastly, we see more early work in progress designs of many characters including ones we never got like Lilo, Pooh Bear Piglet and Eeyore, Mushu and Creaky, Belle and Beast, Pumbaa, Simba and Nala, and in perhaps one of the biggest surprises yet, Giselle from Enchanted. If there was one piece of concept art that makes me sad, it's this one. They had so many ideas for so many characters, and this early concept art is a reminder of how creative and talented the dev teams were that built Infinity. I can't wait to see what else Thomas Estrada will share with the community. So Infiniteers, what were some of your favorite concept art pieces from this video? Which characters do you wish arrived in Infinity? Let me know all of your thoughts in the comment section below. And as always, if you enjoyed this video, please give it a like and subscribe for all the latest Disney Infinity news and content.